with respect to Avinisho. Okay. And it can be achieved by SQL as well. So let's see, I mean, how to achieve it is using the Avinisho. Okay. So let's, uh, uh, you know, uh, let's uh, straightly go into the scenario actually. So this is the input data set. Okay. We have an account number, account holder, credit month, and credit amount. So these are the some, um, you know, credit amount uh, for a particular month for a particular account number are given to us. And what is uh, the ask is to create a, you know, create a summary report basically. So if you look at the, look at the requirement is for each account holder, there is a credit month and the corresponding credit amount will be stored. And it is not necessary to have the amount for all the 12 months. In the case of missing records, we need to uh, specify amount as zero. So if you look at the data, it appears that for all the, for, uh, for a particular customer, we don't have all the records for uh, all the 12 months, right? So we know that we have 12 months in a year. So there are uh, missing records for uh, for these account numbers, okay? So in, in the missing case, what we need to do, we need to produce a zero value record. Now, and so there are, uh, you know, a requirement. So there could be a different requirement in a particular project. So what we need to do is we need to create a zero value accounts, right? Zero value records or zero value, you know. So that's kind of requirement can be added in using this scenario basically. So there could be a, a different scenarios in different projects, but so the basic thing is for times we need to create a zero value add, right? Sometimes now, okay. So there could be a the principle could be different and the requirement could be different and it can, could be different based on some different inputs, right? Now, so we need to create the zero value records and then we need to summarize, we need to create, uh, you know, one record per account holder in the output with 12 month data along with total. So we need to give input like this and we need to produce the output like this for each customer or each account number, I would, I would be having, you know, one record. And the monthly summary could be, you know, like comma, con you know, comma separated values in one field, monthly amount summary, let's say, and then the total amount, okay, across the year. Now I need to, to, uh, to do those two things, actually. First, I need to, uh, you know, generate the missing numbers, missing number of records. And second thing is I need to aggregate it, you know, aggregate the records let's say okay so whenever we think of generating you know multiple record out of one record or out of you know particular record we think of normalized component so what we are certainly is going to use the normalize and what is the length of normalize is going to be 12 we know that right so there will be a 12 month in a year for aggregating we can use anything like i mean we know that right roll up we can do that so to create multiple record out of you know input record is we need to decide the length right so if you look at these uh, the record which are you know we got from input data set for account number one you know we see that there are two records. So for each and every record, I cannot produce, you know, 12 record because there will be a duplicate then. So what I need to do is I need to pick and choose a one record out of this, you know, out of the available, you know, number of records for a particular account number. I need to pick one and then, you know, normalize to 12 record. And then I will try to somehow try to join or merge with the original file and produce the particular required output so the intermediate file i need to have is to gen for uh, you know to produce the missing records so i should have 12 record for each and every customer in that intermediate file okay and then i will try to apply the second point roll up i will aggregate the uh, aggregate all the record 12 record while producing this output okay to produce this output so let's you know jump into the design so this is a simple design so what i need to do is first i need to take the input i will create two flows so first i will select each uh, one customer 
and then I'll create 12 record of this customer and then I'll try to join this file with the original file, original data. So I have created, taken two flows with the replicate as a component, let's say. Okay, I replicated the flows. First flows, I in upper flow is, you know, I'll pass on to the sort with the account number as sorting key and dedupe account number as a sorting key. I'll select one of that record and then I'll pass from the normalize and and I will uh, create one more field which says that month number, okay, one, two. And I will also assign in the original file. Let's say I'll put a reformat here and let's, I would be creating a month number, okay, here also month number. And I also create a month number over here, month underscore number, let's say. For January, I will say it is a one, for February, uh, two, and so on, okay. Now, I have created 12 record for, for, from the first, uh, you know, first selected record for each, each group. And then I will try to, there will be a 12 record for account number one, account number two, and so on. All the record, I will have 12, 12 record each, okay, in the upper flow. And then I will try to join with the original data, okay, from here it is coming. And left join, I will do the left join because I have to have 12 record for, so for the missing record, I will take the, I will put the amount as zero, okay. Okay. So while doing the left join, I would be doing out star is equal to first I will take IN1 from the from the below I will choose. So whichever amount for whichever you know uh, for whichever month the amounts and all is there, right? The amounts and because I would be missing the amounts, right? If I'm selecting one record for a particular graph group, I would be you know what about these in this record, second record and these these uh, you know august december record of this so these amounts would be coming from the from the below flow so i would be prioritize the in1 here and if in1 is not available then i will you know take the amount as you know from the num uh, from the in0 flow okay so then after uh, joining, I will have you know all the records, missing records, and then the rollup will go to the, and uh, this uh, data will go to the rollup, and then I'll in the rollup. So, what would be the key of this is, uh, whenever you do this, you specify the key as, you know, account number plus month number. Okay, so you give the month number. Otherwise, there will be a more record okay so you take the while joining you key, keep the key as key account number and also the month numbers and then roll up and then roll up roll, roll up will be accumulating this number okay so if you see the coding part so there could be you know a rough coding i have done so temporary type i need to define count and account summary then i need to initialize it in the roll up like you know count one summary is equal to blank and then in the roll up temporary in is the input parameter because I have decided the temporary you know record type and then if it is count is one then I will keep the credit amount as it is otherwise I will be keep on concatenating this okay and I will uh, going to increment the count as well in the final is output is going to be monthly amount summary let's say monthly amount summary because it's a month monthly let's say amount summary okay Time port amount summary. So this is what we are going to do. This is going to be the output DML. So if we want to see it. So it's a simple scenario. Yeah. So with that, I think uh, we have uh, solved this kind of scenario. So there will be a chances of you know you coming across this kind of scenario in your uh, interview question. So thanks for watching. Thank you so much.